Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another 3D Wednesday. I am so mad right now because I actually thought, quote unquote, thought I was filming my video this entire time and didn't realize it was on pause. And I was so excited because I had a, vid a little cute little project I had made from beginning to end for you, which I haven't done that in a long time. And my video was pausing. The only reason why I noticed is because I said, okay, I'm going to grab some ribbon really quick. And I was trying to pause it and realize it was paused the entire time. So I'm so sorry. So I'll kind of walk you through what I did. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and finish off the project on camera because my camera is re on play right now. Okay, so anyways, for today, I actually made this cute little coloring book, okay? I had these little coasters in my stash like forever. They're, I'm not sure if I use the four inch ones. Yeah, they're four inch um, coasters. And if you Google um, chipboard coasters, you could find them. I, for the life of me, I've had these for years. And for the life of me, I cannot remember where I got it from because I was cleaning out my room. I need to start using what I have instead of buying stuff that I that basically kind of sits there like these. These sat here like forever, okay? So don't think because someone else has something you have to run off and buy it because trust me, if you run off and buy it, you're not going to use it. I promise you, <laughs> you're not going to use it until years down the line, which I'm doing here. So these are just some circle coasters I had picked up. I don't know where. It was somewhere online, but I'm positive if you Google... Um, little circle chipboard coasters you will find them okay because google knows everything they're very smart okay i'm using one of my older stamp sets now don't think this is brand new i had actually showed one of my older stamp sets on camera the other day that um, was in the new packaging and then someone ordered it and then when they got it they're like i have this already because remember i had the old packaging with my old girl on there let me see if i have a sample of one i'm pretty sure i do let me grab it really quick here Okay, here is an example of my old packaging. Okay, this is basically what my old packaging looks like. Um, and they all got revamped because of space. I needed more space, so we went ahead and put them in the smaller bags, six by six bags, okay? Um, so anyway, so this is an older set. This was actually from my very, very first release almost three years ago. Can you believe that? Three years already. Um, so anyways, this is one of my very first releases, my first edition, I should say, and it's called Color Me Happy, a really super cute Easter set here, okay? So we're, we're using that one, and this one here was my last year item, isn't this super sweet? This one's called Happy Hunting, and this is the one I actually used, e not yesterday, but the day before on Monday on my little Smashbook page. I used him right there. And then I used the happy hunting, and then I used the cutie, the miniature size of him. This is what I used today. In this one, I kind of downsized it so it could fit in here because this circle here does coordinate with my scallop and stitch circle die, where you could go ahead and stamp that little cutie patootie right in the center there where it says Easter wishes just for you. Okay? So anyways, for today, I'm using him right there. And then I'm using some pretty paper here. This is from Liz's Paper Loft Boutique. And um, this is Walnut Grove by Pebbles. A really pretty paper company as well. It doesn't, it's not um, double-sided, but it's okay. I don't mind, I don't have to have all of my paper double-sided. You know what I'm saying? See, and here goes that paper that I use. There goes the Easter that I use with my lower case of fun dies for my page I had did on Monday. So anyways, look how pretty this is. Really cute, bright, pretty, pretty colors. I love this paper pad. And you can pick that up at Liz's Paper Loft Boutique. And then the dies I used were this one here. It's just a simple little chunky, little chunky die. This is from my, um, the set called Just Tags, okay? And this is uh, the little clouds are from my set called Fly Away With Me dies. 
And then this little banner I use like forever and ever. This one is from Vintage Label Dies. Now what I did was I ran it through my machine. And then I, what I did was I had, let's see if I have an example. What's a good example I could show you? Let me see. Um, okay, here, I'm just going to show you this example right here. Okay, like saying, for example, this is one that's that I ran through with this, okay? And then what I did was I... I took this because I needed it to be shorter because you'll see why when you see my book. So what I did was I kind of like, and you'll feel it like go into the little, like fit perfectly into the little holes. Like there it goes. See how it's staying perfectly right there? And then what I did was I ran it back through my machine, but only let it go to like right here. Don't go again through the whole thing. Just only go to right like so, like put your machine like through the cuddle bug and just kind of just only crank it until it hits this part and then take it back out. And then you'll have like a smaller version of this. Okay, this way you could have it done with both sides. Hopefully that made sense. Like I said, I'm so mad at myself that I didn't have a full video. I should have, I thought I did, but I didn't. So anyways, and then I also used my bind it all. Okay, so what I created for you today is this cutie patootie little color me happy coloring book. How cute is this, okay? I had at I had these papers in my stash as well. I had these like forever, a long time ago, and these were cut down for some strange reason. I have no idea. And I had already put put it through my bind. And also, these are basically in my closet with just the little holes and just, just sitting there. So I'm thinking, you know what? I and I know I have square coasters somewhere around. I didn't find them, so I figured I could definitely do something with the circle. All I have to do is just cut this off. I almost make it look like a like a half moon shape so that's what I did so basically what I did was I got my coasters for example and I and I, what I, I went ahead and I cut a little portion of it off and then I got some powder paper it used some adhesive to put it on really good and then I cut around the ex, the excess and then I used my little filing thing here and you can use any nail filer from basic gray and what I did was I just file down the sides just so it could be smooth. It could, you see how it has a, a really pretty smooth edge right there? That's what I did, okay? Um, and then, after I did that, then I went ahead, before you put it in your, um, I was going to say your cuddle bag, in your bind it all, you want to put this front paper back. You want to basically, this is how you want to situate all your papers before you put these little, the little rings, um, what are they called? your wires I guess through here so you want to make sure it's like that so this way when you open it up like so these this part here is on the inside and not on the outside okay so anyways this is it so far and there goes I have stamped him on the little tag die and when I use I used a white um, color pencil to color in the egg and then basically just use my Copic markers and I colored him in with the cool gray number one with the Copic markers. Um, and then I used blush for his tummy. I didn't do too much shading because I figured I wanted to keep it simple and quick. And then I just you put glossy accents on the little eyes like I usually do. Um, on the paintbrush since the paint is still wet. And then on the little Easter egg. How cool is that? Okay, so before I put, what I'm going to do is I'm put ribbon here, but before I do, I want to stamp a sentiment on the inside. Um, hmm, extra special, um, extra special. We're going to do my little chickadee right there. Okay, so let me grab my little um, block here. Now I'm just going to put it. I'm going to go ahead and stamp it right in the center, and I'm just going to use my little archival ink by Ranger. And this is the black ink. And I'm just going to go ahead and just stamp this right in the middle, right there. Well, it's kind of off, but it's okay. My little chickadee. Isn't that cutie patootie? Okay, so that part is done. And then now what I'm going to do, I am going to, I'm not sure if all of you are on my Facebook page, but I had said a little while ago that I had gone to Hobby Lobby to get some clear containers to re do some reorganizing. And this is one of them right here. Isn't this pretty? I actually got this idea from Miss uh, Teresa Collins. What she did was she got all the clear jars, 
to so she could see all of her items because if it's not in my face I won't use it and I will totally forget that I've ever even had it like this ribbon I had in a little secret stash that I forgot I had and it's so beautiful so why am I not using it so I was as soon as I saw her little organizing episode I immediately went out there and luckily all of these were 50% off I got a few of them one day I'll do a video of my room once it's cleaned up again because <laughs> it's halfway there um, and I'll show you all the rest of my clear jars okay but isn't that pretty um, so anyways I am going to use some here this is just some May Arts ribbon and one of my design team members had sent it to me she had ordered it from somewhere and she um, sent it to me so I'm not sure exactly where she got it from so anyways I had measured one a little bit earlier and I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie the little ribbons on the little edges right there so I'm going to just go ahead and just cut these like so let's go ahead and use that because I knew this that one was too small so there's one two three four five six um huh, let's let's try three I wish it was an odd number to be honest with you and it would be easier for me to decide what I wanted to do. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do this. And then while I'm doing this, I'm gonna give you all an update on the orders, okay? My, I spoke with my manufacturer and I'm pretty sure they're probably tired of hearing from me, but they are running behind. They said they have been so, so extremely busy. Um, and it's, and, and it's, it's, it's hard for me because I am expecting stuff, and so are all of you, all the stuff that's on back order. Well, anyways, needless to say, they told me I should have everything in by March 9th or 10th. They said it might be sooner, but don't count on it. Um, so anyways, um, basically, they're running behind. Okay, I should have gotten at the beginning of that week, but it looks like it's going to be at the end of that week. Um... March 9th, I believe. March 9th or 10th. That's what they have told me. So, as soon as all of the back, or the short ship items, all the back order items are in, the minute they come in, we plan on packing them up a, a, S, on the ASAP and getting them out to you right away. So, thank you so much for your patience. I totally appreciate it, everybody. Um... I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I swear. I like I said. I call them. I could even I, I could even fly out there and help them do my order if they need me to. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's it's not gonna happen. So, um, like I said, as soon as they come, I, we will get that. We will do a marathon packing because somebody thought, oh, it's not packaged for you already. Ha <laughs> ha. No, it's not. I wish it was to be honest with you, but it's okay. You know, it's no problem. We, I could go ahead and do that. Nothing we can't handle, right? So anyway, so if you, if anybody ordered after um, 5 p.m. Pacific on February 15th, that's when we sold out. We sold out at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on February 15th, okay? So if you ordered after that, Everything was sold out, so that means I still have your orders. So if you're wondering where they are, I still have them. And at the minute we get the, everything in, I will get it all out to you right away as soon as we can. Okay. All right, let's see what this looks like. Okay, I like the way this one is, but I don't like the way this one is tied. So I'm going to untie this one again. And I know there's no mistakes in paper crafting, but I just don't like the way this one looks. So let me untie this one really quick here. Okie dokie. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab my little scissors and just trim these off just like so. Isn't this so cute? A cute little gift to put in an Easter basket, don't you think? And it's really easy to make too. Super simple. This is for those kids of yours who just love to draw or just like to doodle, throw little ideas in your girlfriends, your little crafty friends. If you want, you know, they want to jot down little ideas. I think it's perfect though for that. Okay, I may add some more stuff, but you will see. 
um, at the end of the video if I have added more stuff or not. I might put, I may put some more ribbons on here. Who knows? I may do like a different. Oops, I forgot to cut this one. Let me cut this one really quick here. Okie dokie, isn't that super duper cute? Color me happy. And then on the inside, and it says my little chickadee. Super duper cute. Um, something easy. I'm thinking about maybe, I haven't been distressing any edges, to be honest with you. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that right now. I didn't even ink it up, but there's still some ink on here from my last project that I made. It's not really coming out like, per you can't really see it too dark. But at least it gives it something. And that, oh yeah. Much, much better. Good thing I happen to have this on my desk, right? On my craft table. So anyways, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my super cute little Easter little doodle book that I made. Or a little coloring book, however you want to call it. Um, I will probably, I'm definitely I'm going to be adding more ribbon here. I just don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to give you an update on everything. Um, everything should be in. Um... By the 9th, the latest, the 10th, okay, everybody? So thank you so much for your patience. Like I said, we will get it out as soon as possible. The minute I get it in my hands, then we're going to do a marathon packaging everything up and get it out to you. Okay, everybody? So thank you so much for tuning in. Have a fabulous day. And I will see you back here tomorrow, okay? Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.